Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the news update here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, I've got to say, it's a pleasure to be dry. Uh, it's finally over. Songkran is no more for another year. Uh, so if you did celebrate it this year, I hope you had a great time. We went out for two days and uh, yeah, it was mental. First day, not so, but not so good, but the second day was just full on as to be expected. But finally, I can ride around now without being worried about getting soaking wet and uh, having ice cold water thrown over me. So what's been going on? I'll tell you what, there's a, there's quite, well, there's, a, there's a big stink at the moment about the electricity. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, there's, there's a few parties happening, a few events that I want to show you, share with you. And also, I want to talk to you about three restaurants that I think you need to be aware of if you're not already. Uh, so please bear with me during today's show. Uh, there's a lot to cover. So uh, one of the things that's uh, been, as you can imagine, being so hot at the moment, and I'll talk about that in more detail right now, uh, but basically there's been an ice maker uh, saying how fantastic it is that we're all melting because uh, the hot weather is meant for hot sales for Patea ice vendors. Uh, Bunanan Pat Patanasin, uh, the president of the Patea Business and Tourism Association, who also owns the Ratchet Group, has said his company's ice sales have jumped almost nearly 30%. Um, you know, now, if, if you're not the kind of person who likes ice in your beer, maybe you need to think, rethink that strategy because uh, I'll tell you now, honestly, you ask anybody around here, it is just crazy, crazy hot. And the humidity levels are so scorchingly high. It's just, I feel like I'm melting. For, for the first time in, what, 11 years of being here, um, I've ever experienced the, the heat that we're having right now as we speak. Uh, but yeah, so he goes on to say that he's moved over 8,500 blocks of ice, and each block of ice is 100 bar. So he's had a right billy bargain, and he's, he's done himself a decent earning. Uh, and there's no sign of the actual heat at the moment uh, calming down. I'm speaking to a lot of people that are over here, that are here on holiday, and they're all saying the same thing. It's like, man, this is just too hot. Uh, following on to this, this information this week is from the Pattaya Mail. Uh, it goes on to say about, we're talking about the heat. It says the heat index rises to 54 degrees in Bangkok, Chombri and Phuket. Health risk warned. Uh, so they've gone and said it's, uh, you know, you need to be very, very careful. You know, guys, you know, wear a hat, try and keep yourself cool, keep lots of water, make sure you're fully hydrated. Uh, you know, it really does catch you, especially if you're like sitting on the back of a motorbike, you don't perhaps realise it, or you're just walking around, there might be a nice breeze, but that sun is beaming down on you, and I'll tell you what, it is really, really hot. So guys, you know, please, I'm not, I'm not trying to teach you how to suck eggs here, but you know, please drink lots of water, wear a hat, plenty of sun cream and uh, sun factor, and just make sure you keep yourself as best as you can, as cool as you can. Uh, it goes on to say here, the heat index will soar to 54 uh, in three areas, Bangkok's Bang Na, Chomburi and Phuket. And it uh, goes on to say, the Director General of the Meteorological Department, uh, <laughs> some long words there, uh, it could be the peak of heat index this summer. Hot temperatures combined with relative humidity could pose a health risk to people staying outside in the hot weather. Uh, so there you go, you know, straight from the, the big boss himself, he's saying, guys, please be very, very careful. Now, there's a knock-on effect to this, because me personally, and, uh, you know, chatting to Ian the other day, we're both uh, the similar uh, thoughts here, as well as many others. But electricity bills have risen incredibly high. I was chatting to Stephen the other day, uh, and he was saying that three of the venues that he owns, three of the bars he owns, all three, their electricity bills have doubled uh, since uh, in comparison to what they are normally. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an indication that people are using the aircon a lot more. Uh, but also, I'm not sure about why the electricity has, has seemed so expensive at the moment. No one seems to put their finger on it. But there is a relief, and you can laugh at this when I tell you this. Uh, it says here, the power tariff on electricity bills are going to be cut from May to August in 2023. Now, hang on, before you get excited... It says the power tariff during the period will drop from 4.77 baht to 4. Point, wait for it, 70. So you're going to get seven satang off your bill. I mean, it's just well, it's not. It's not even seven. It's it was at 4.7. So it's four baht seventy satang. Yeah, so you're going to get seven satang off your uh, off your electricity bill, which in the grand scale of things is meaningless. Now, here's a question for you guys that are watching. What's your electricity bill? Like, what, what do you pay per kilowatt or per unit? We're going to pay 4.7 uh, baht for a unit. Um, I don't know what that is. Is a unit a kilowatt, an ampere? I, I don't know. I just plug things in if it works. Billy bonus. 
Um, but you know, yeah, what are you, what are you guys paying right now for your electricity bill? And uh, guys, you know, if people do are kind enough to share what they're paying, and it might be high considering to where you are or whatever, you know, let's let's keep the comments nice and friendly, guys. Let's keep it on on track. But yeah, I mean, my my condo electric bills probably around about. 1100 baht, uh, my house is about 1800 to 2000 baht. Um, so it's a, re it's a relative amount really, uh, but fortunately they're not like Stephen's bills, <laughs> astronomical. Uh, but yeah, so what do you pay for electric guys? So, and uh, if you are here, good news guys, good news. Don't worry, you're gonna be saving from 77 satang down to 70 satang. I know you, I can feel the euphoria now. I can feel you running out going, yoo I'm almost going to be able to afford to step on a BART bus and pay the 10 BART with my savings. Now, talking about BART buses, um, I've mentioned this before, and, and people tend to think, no, no, that's not happening. But it is true. There is a no standing rule on the back of BART buses. And what's happened now is it was released uh, this week that there's a no standing rule on the BART buses bites the dust. Now check this out, no standing rule on Patia Bart buses bites the dust. So it was introduced, it says here, formally introduced nationally last February, the law banning upright passengers, in other words, stood up, on Bart buses has been skillfully ignored. Uh, Patea Bart bus collective spokesman Katani Bangprapa uh, said his colleagues were under a legal obligation to pick up passengers on request and risked being assaulted if they refused. Now that's rubbish. I've, in all the years I've been here, I've never once seen anyone try to assault a BART bus driver for not stopping. And let's be honest, if he did, well more for him because there's gonna be 50 BART buses around you and you ain't gonna be winning that situation, let me tell you that. He said he also pointed out the high cost of fuel, which meant the maximum capacity, especially at rush hours, was just common sense. Which in fairness, they have got a point. But the other thing is, I would question sometimes the reliability of the platform that you're standing on. You know, you might not be aware, but at the back there, there's like a little grill, a little step up to get into the back of the BART bus. You know, be very, very careful if you are stood on it. And uh, one thing that p people often overlook here, you know, the old man bags that like I wear and that Ian wears, you know, don't have them on the outside of your body, have them on the inside so you're facing into the BART bus. The simple reason being is, you know, we don't like to admit it, but there is occasional uh, opportunity thefts. And if you've got your bag over the over your shoulder, it doesn't take someone on a motorbike to quickly grab it and away they go. And uh, you never know. But it's better to be prepared rather than think, oh man, what's happened now? Because you ain't going to catch a motorbike in today's traffic. The roads at the moment are mental, mental busy. And uh, I'm not quite sure why, to be honest with you. It just seems to be a surge of, of vehicles coming into the city. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going to happen about standing on the back uh, it says here some passengers only prefer standing for assaulted reasons, such as less likelihood of being pickpocketed or because the view is better. The view is better. Can I stand on a BART bus, please? But can I stand in the back, please? So I want to look at the view. I mean, come on, really. Um, interesting, you know, there's a few things here which they go on to mention in this article. It says here, uh, Pataeans, that's a new word for me, Pataeans, uh, in any case, are very good at circumventing legal obligations. Did you know this? I didn't know this. Since 2018, smoking on beaches in the kingdom has been outlawed to protect the environment. Uh, the only known prosecution occurred when a hapless drunk set fire to a no smoking sign. Uh, I didn't know that. I had no idea that you couldn't smoke on the beach. I mean, I'm a non-smoker, I've never smoked in my life, so it's something that I don't really pay much attention to. Uh, but yeah, apparently, uh, that was basically the situation that you can't smoke on the beaches. And I mean, I see loads of people smoking on the beach, so I didn't know that that was a law, truthfully. Uh, and here's a good one, you're gonna love this one. Uh, prosecutions are not always successful. A Patea go, go dancer was accused of indecent display under the old Entertainment Venue Act by provocatively dancing totally nude on a club stage. But the charge was dismissed as her lawyer provided evidence she was wearing a top hat. <laughs> However, she was, this is brilliant. However, she was found guilty of the use of ping pong balls and live goldfish in a lewd cabaret act, which was a breach of animal welfare legislation. I mean, yeah, you must imagine the poor old goldfish thing and hang about, I, I don't want to be going up there. <laughs> oh dear, anyway, but yeah, so uh, that was quite, uh, 
quite in, informative. Imagine the poor old goldfish swimming around, suddenly whoosh, up you go, son, crack on. Um, it says here, according to the lawyer portal, there are thousands of unforceable laws all around the world. Uh, and did you know this one? In Scotland, this is brilliant. In Scotland, it's a still an offence to refuse to let anyone use your home toilet if he or she asks. So you're walking down the road. I need to go. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, mate. Can I just pop in and use your toilet, please? Yeah, crack on, mate. Fill your boots. You know, just have a, have a, you know, have a moment. Uh, anyway, but there you go. So, yeah, so standing on the back of the bar buses now, it seems, is allowed. Uh, now, on a much sadder note, and I've got to say, although I'm going to talk about it right now, I have to say there is a huge reduction in what, what used to be really a very serious problem. Uh, unfortunately, and very sadly, a Belgian and a French man uh, take suicide leaps from the same condominium block, uh, from the same block. Uh, it says here, a Belgian man hell-bent on suicide became the second foreigner to jump to his death from the same Patea condominium in 11 days. Uh, it goes on to mention his name. It says, crash through the roof of the covered parking area at the Nine Karat condominium on Soya Arunatai off Central Patea Road. I mean, you know, it's just mind-blowing that unfortunately people get to that level of, of uh, sadness and depression that they decide to take their own lives. And it's a shame there aren't more groups here to reach out and help people like that or to give people the opportunity to reach out because, you know, nobody wants to end their life and particularly like that way. And, and also, you know, from a... From a, from a selfish point of view, you imagine you're sat in the car park or whatever, you're just walking past and suddenly that kind of situation is presented to you. That's going to last you for the rest of your life, the memory of seeing what you saw. So, you know, but unfortunately, you know, these two guys have done that. Uh, on a more positive note, we used to have what we call the jumpers and uh, it used to happen far, far too often. I remember when I first came out here, oh man, it was like a weekly occurrence that people were, were jumping off or maybe they were helped, I don't know. Um, but you know what I'm saying, like, uh, but right now it seems to have been really less and less, which has been incredibly surprising considering the last, uh, what we've been through, that people have, have managed to struggle through and get through without calling it a day. So, but yeah, very, very sadly, that's what's happened. Anyway, right, so moving on now, uh, I want to go through some events that are coming up this, this week. Uh, one of them, which I'm delighted to mention, is the Chris Kays. Uh, the Chris Case Memorial Rugby Tournament is back. It's on Saturday the 29th and Sunday the 30th of April. It's a great event. It's up at Horseshoe Point. Uh, get yourself a bolt taxi up there. It'll take, I don't know, take maybe 20 minutes, cost you maybe 150 baht, 100 baht. But it's a great tournament. And uh, teams from all around come and compete in this. It really is a fun, fun event. And uh, I will definitely be trying to make sure I get up there at some stage to go and watch it because it really is good fun. Definitely well worth looking at. Uh, Beam is having her birthday on Tuesday tomorrow, so she's having a birthday uh, on Tuesday the 25th at Sluts Bar in Treetown. Uh, this one's in Treetown. Yes, the much talked about Treetown. Is it going to be closed down? Is it going to be shut down? I don't know. You don't know. We're all guessing. Uh, but they've just put a load of new lights in and everything, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, uh, if you want to go and celebrate Beam, it's her birthday on Tuesday, and the party starts at 5 p.m. in the evening. Uh, on a much more serious note, on the 25th uh, is Anzac Day. If you go down to John Tien Beach, uh, it, there's an event going on. There's a very special day coming up soon on the 25th of April. We'd like to like you all to come to celebrate Anzac Day with us here at the Wombat and Kiwi to pay our respects to the fallen and after enjoy some great food and a nice cold beer together. Uh, mentions here, there's items below in addition to normal areas like Vegemite sandwiches, meat pies, chips with gravy, barbecue sausages in red. The event starts at midday at 12 o'clock. Um, so, you know, please, if, if that's your thing, go down to John Tim Beach and go and, uh, you know, pay your respects. I am going to do the uh, Kanchanaburi and the, the railway and stuff. I'm going to do that, but I won't do that this month. I'll probably end up doing that next month, but I want to go up there and do that. Uh, on the 26th, Wednesday, uh, starting at 7.30, Johan. Johan is the owner of Lady Love. He's, he's having his birthday. Uh, I can imagine that will be absolutely full on and carnage. Uh, so go to Lady Love. It's in LK Metro. Very easy to find. It's a nice venue, lots of girls. So go down there and enjoy Johan's birthday celebration with him. And that, that's on Wednesday, and as I say, starts at 7.30. Uh, on Friday the 28th, uh, the, Rock, the Rock Factory. And not this one, it's a herring party in the Rock Factory. Marinated herring with boiled potatoes, 149 baht. I'm not quite sure 
what that has to do with rock music. I might be, I've, maybe I've completely missed this. Uh, but it's on Friday, uh, the 28th, and it's uh, from 4 o'clock until 10 o'clock. I have to say, uh, having been past there a few times, the band in there is decent. They play a good, good selection of rock covers, and they're tight as well. They, they do nail it down. But yeah, the herring, uh, the, this herring with boiled potatoes, I'm really not sure whether. Help me out, guys. What is the... Uh, Maybe maybe the owners from wherever they do this this herring thing. I, I honestly don't know. But anyway, the point being is, get yourself some herring and spuds, mashed potato, and uh, go to the Rock Factory and enjoy some great music. It really is very, very good. Now, on Saturday, April the 29th, starting at 8.30 uh, in Atlantis, a go-go. It is Vikings' birthday. It says the party starts at 8.30 p.m. and goes until the last man is standing. Um, free shots, no spilling. Seriously, it's unprofessional. Uh, the first person, it says here, the first person to pee after 10.30 p.m. should buy the Viking a shot. There you are. So uh, hold it in, lads. Keep it together. And uh, don't do it after 10.30, otherwise you've got to buy them a shot. Uh, now, again, on uh, uh, 29th Saturday, starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, we've got the back to school at the Amiga Bar in Soy 6. Uh, we all know where Soy 6 is. There's always a birthday down there. So pop down, go and say hello. And that's at the Amiga Bar starting at, uh, sorry, we're starting at 3 p.m. And uh, the girls there are all dressed in the back to school outfits. So I'll leave that for your imagination to take you into whatever visual aspect you're thinking of right now. And uh, don't look at me and imagine me in a schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> that's Ian's thing. Uh, right, lastly, three restaurants I want to give a shout out to. Guys, if you're out here, these are very, very uh, good restaurants. Definitely well worth popping into. Uh, first one, I was in there yesterday with uh, Stephen and with Dean from the Dive Bar is Witherspoons. Witherspoons food's very, very good. Very, very good prices. It's a nice big triple well, triple unit now. Uh, they've got the original one. They have the big one around the corner opposite uh, Archon. And then they've got that smaller area in the between the, the connecting area. Uh, but it's a really good vibe. It's nice. It's uh, huge, huge um, options. They do specials like on Saturday, they do the barbecue ribs. Obviously, Sunday, uh, Sunday you've got the Sunday roast, etc. Friday, you've got your fish and chips. They put all the sports on and everything. It's a nice, big, open open environment. So pop down there. It's in the middle of Soy Bacow. If you're going to Soy Bacow, uh, basically head towards, uh, where well, if you keep Tree Town on your left, so you're walking that way and Tree Town is on your left, Keep walking, there's a little less bend where Archon used to be, and that's where you'll find Witherspoons. Very, very good food, extremely good prices, and definitely somewhere where you should check out. One place that I haven't been to for ages, and I popped in there, and I've got to say, I wish I'd done it sooner, is Gulliver's. Now, if you don't know where Gulliver's is, that's actually on Beach Road. And I'll tell you when the best time to go, in my opinion, is towards the sunset time. They've got an outdoor terrace. They've got a lovely inside old traditional bar with air con. Everything. It's really nice. Great selection of beers and wines and spirits. Uh, very, very good food. Good prices as well. They're not overly expensive. But I'll tell you what, when you sit outside on that terrace and the evening starts to get a bit cooler, and I know we're talking about the heat wave we're having right now, but it does eventually get cooler. Uh, but go to Gulliver's, guys. It really is full on. It's really, really very, very good. And 100%, I recommend you pay that a visit because you'll enjoy it. It really is a great setup. And lastly, uh, a place that if you like your Sunday roast, if you're into your Sunday roast, so this week, if you're looking at going out and having a Sunday roast on Sunday, uh, that's why it's called a Sunday roast, really. Otherwise, if it was a roast, it'd be... Uh, anyway, uh, go, go to the Sportsman on Soy 13. They are very, very well respected in the city. They've been around a long, long time. Very, very high quality food. Exceptionally big range of uh, all-you-can-eat stuff. And uh, basically, they've got a, it says here, if you haven't tried the Sportsman Carvery yet, what are you waiting for? The Sportsman Sunday All-You-Can-Eat Carvery. Every Sunday, 12.30 till 8.30 in the evening. Two soups, five roast meats, all the trimming, sauces, gravies, and complimentary dessert for 495 baht. And I've got to say, don't just go for the Sunday roast. Try their other food as well. They've got a fantastic menu, a very large, comprehensive menu, and one, again, that I suggest you check out. Uh, it's on the Bart Bus route on Second Road and on Beach Road. You can easily get the Soy 13. It's very easy to find. And the Sportsman's located towards Second Road end rather than Beach Road end. But if you have the big Sunday car or you have a feast, uh, maybe you want to walk down to the beach to try and walk off what you've just eaten because I'll tell you what, the portions are huge. All right, well, there we go, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's news and updates and stuff. I'll try and keep doing this each week uh, as and when things become more apparent. Um, I will bring more restaurant reviews onto the channel. I will bring those to you. 
And uh, there's a lot of things happening. I'm off to Konken soon as well. I'm going to show you Konken Nightlife versus Pattaya. Is it worth doing the journey? So that's coming up soon. So have a look at that. All right, there we are. Thank you very much indeed for watching, guys. Please, as always, remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, if you haven't had an opportunity, please have a look at our website, buzzingpattaya.com. Uh, it's packed full of information. We've also got our members area in there, which is on the menu on the left-hand side. Click the button and uh, come and have a look at what we show there that we can't show on here. And if you do decide to join us, uh, please read the email that you get sent. It's a separate website altogether, so you please need to read, read that email and join over there. Uh, and if you'd like to join Discord, uh, over 10,000 members there. It's going from strength to strength. A fantastic platform, totally free of charge. Gives you an opportunity to mix with other people, ask questions, share your experiences and your knowledge. And uh, it really is a fantastic platform. So please have a look at that. All right, that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Mm -hmm.